Hi, what's going on? My name is Anand. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of SendMails.io list, also known as SendMails.io audience. With SendMails, you can create multiple lists so that you can manage your email list for your different businesses or different categories. So in this video, I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of list. And in the upcoming series, I'll be showing you each and every feature in depth. So first of all, you need to head over to list and open the overview to get an overview of your audience over here. So here you can get an audience growth report over here, which you can see over here. Here you can see how many contacts have been subscribed to your emailing list, how many active can, uh, contacts are there, how many forms are there to collect the contact data, and how many contacts are blacklisted. You can click on any of them to open and get a much detailed view of all these things. If you scroll down a little bit, you will see there are two options through which we can enroll these contacts to our list. Number one is you can create a sign up form or you can manually import the contacts by importing it through CSV. Although there are some other ways through which you can import contacts inside sendmails.io. For example, manually creating each and every contact one by one using sendmails.io API to enroll the contacts or using Zapier or Babli integration to connect any third party app with sendmails.io and transfer the contact details over here. So let's just quickly look at what all we are getting over here inside sendmails.io audience. So if I go to sendmails.io list, the options that we'll be getting over here is the option to manage the list. Here you can see you can create multiple list to manage different businesses or different categories of audiences over here. You can delete them in one single click or you can create a new list from here. You can look at the statistics for each and every list from here just by clicking it over here. And you're getting options like import a contact through CSV or you can export this contact. You can create segments on top of this list you can create an embed form, sign up form, sign up thank you page and a bunch of other things which we'll be looking at in the upcoming videos. You'll also be able to manage the list field so that you're not just limited to first name, last name and email. You will be able to create much more than that to personalize your email copies. And then comes the part where you'll be getting email verification where you can integrate any of your email validation software to clean your email list. Coming back to overview here, you can see the list performance, average open rate, average click rate, your list growth, your subscribers performance, and a bunch of other things. Now, if you want to quickly look at all your contacts, you can go to contacts and find out all your contacts over here on a one single place. Not just that you can open any of the contact from here and you can update the contact or delete the contact as well. Like you can see, this is one of those contacts which we have over here. If you want to add any tag or if you want to update or delete anything, I can do that individually as well from here. Not just that, if you want to do it in bulk, we can go back, select all our contacts and apply uh, whatever we would like to do in bulk. For example, if I select everything and if I want to bulk delete this or unsubscribe all of them or subscribe all of them, or if I want to assign a value to any specific column of these contacts, I can do this as well from here. Now coming back to segments, this is where you can create segments on top of a list so that you can have a different version of one single list. For example, you can keep a segment of all the females and males. You can have a segment of all the different cities, different ages, and a much, much more things you can do it with segments. It is going to be very helpful for you when you want to send emails to a very specific segment of audience. This will also help you improve your email performance because you are sending hyper personalized email to one specific segment. And here you will not have to manually enroll everyone to the segment. Once you have defined the conditions and rules inside the segment, it will automatically enroll that person into that specific segment. Now here you can see this is the forms, which, which is where you can create a pop-up, which you can integrate with your website to start capturing the leads. So that's it for today. Uh, in the upcoming video, I will be giving you 
uh, in-depth walkthrough of each and every features and section that I've showed you today.